Hey Pisces, what's up Pisces? It is actually your fire intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and also Venus. Keep in mind that this is in general and that it may or may not resonate with all of you Pisces out there. All right. Um, let's hop into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Pisces, Pisces. All right, let's see what's going on with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and also Venus. Y'all got by Felicia. All right, let's see at the bottom. We have by Slow and Finesse. So it looks like they try to finesse you. But with the vibe card, I feel like your intuition told you something, or you just had got a gut feeling. You know your gut feeling is the best feeling. Let me see. Leave it and not caring. A goodbye for now. Distance. Over it. Whatever. Okay. I like her jeans. Okay. Messages for Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Let's see. Give me three messages for Pisces. Rocky Road. We have Love Potion. So Rocky Road, it says challenging journey together, facing obstacles, must work to overcome. Letting your heart lead, feeling compelled to follow. We have working, working on the relationship. All right, let's see. Gifts of love, roller coaster, taking a risk. Yeah, I feel like you guys are saying bye for right now. Okay. Yeah, saying goodbye for now because I feel like whoever this is. I feel like um, it's just been an, it's you just it's been a long journey. It's been a roller coaster, and you don't feel like they appreciate you. But it looks like you're gonna take a risk. Maybe you will work on it. We're gonna see. Cause we have working on relationship, so maybe you guys are gonna give it a chance. So let's see. For Pisces and Mulazi also Venus. Pisces. Let's see. Let's see. Liza. Liza by Felicia card here. Four of Cups. Yeah, rejecting somebody. Telling them goodbye, rejecting them. No, not wanting really nothing to do with them. For some of you guys, it's because you're tired of getting rejected by this person. You feel like this person always dismisses you or, you know, leaves you hanging. You feel like they don't care. So, like, now you're, like, bye. You're checking up the deuces. Yeah, the moon. Yeah, you're tired of whatever's going on between you guys. So, the energy, everything is shifting. And now you're the one saying bye, rejecting them, ignoring them. That is your energy. Pisces, the moon. I feel like they didn't see this coming. They could feel some type of way about it. Give me one more card for the Bye Felicia for Pisces. Yeah, they're going to feel some type of way. It could be a, a cancer. As soon as I said that the chariot came out, cancer. So you guys can be checking up the deuces to a cancer or another Pisces. Yeah, you are cutting someone off. Well, we have the Queen of Swords overall energy. Yeah, let me see. Seven of Pentacles reverse. You just feel like it's not worth it anymore. And then we have the Hermit, yeah. So this is the introspection, like really going within, really shining the light on things, really like you need your time, your space. You just want to be at peace. This is you just like, look, I don't, I'm by, like I don't have time for the bullshit. You're wasting my time. This is a waste of time. I'm tired of everything that we're going through. You're ready to move forward or 
you're, you're gonna like move quick with this decision because the chariot is here. So whatever you're deciding, it's like the chariot is something that takes off. You're moving quick. Like you're just like, nope, I made up my mind. This is what I'm doing. All right, bye. All right, so let's see. Give me six cards for Pisces. Give me six cards. Six cards for Pisces. We have the Five of Pentacles, the Hangman Reverse, Page of Wands, Ten of Swords. Um, let's see, Ace of Pentacles in Reverse, the Knight of Cups. Some of you guys are going towards new love. We have the King of Cups. We have the King of Swords. Damn, who is all these people around you? Yeah, but like as soon as you stop thinking about them and thinking about the past and you know, stop thinking negative. It's like some type of new energy shifts in where there's a new beginning and there's a lot of happiness here. Whether it's just like you happy with yourself or, you know, happy and like, you know, going towards somebody new. Because I do see a new love. Really, I, I do see a new love coming in. It could be a Scorpio, Leo. Um, it could be another Pisces as well. We also have Virgo energy. So let's see. Pisces. Yeah, so Pisces, you felt left out in the cold by this person. You felt as if the love was unrequited with the Five of Pentacles. Could be a toy girl or Capricorn that you guys are dealing with. Let's see how the Five of Pentacles is here. Six of Pentacles. So you were over giving in this relationship. You guys are in a one-sided situation. It wasn't it wasn't balanced. Like even though the Queen of Wands is here, you're the one that kept the relationship going and you were the one that kept giving to the relationship. So it's just like, I don't know, I feel like as confident as you are, as beautiful as you are, as much as you got going for yourself, it's like you were giving into this relationship and you just just kind of felt like you weren't getting what you wanted. You know, you weren't getting what you were putting into the relationship or you were the only one in the relationship, like giving, you know, energy and time to this relationship. Going to the Queen of Wands, Four of Cups reverse. Yeah, so you're getting out of your feelings and moving on and moving forward. That's why we have the back Felicia. You're like, I'm not going to sit here and wait and feel rejected or be rejected by you. So you're rejecting them or cutting it off, ending it for now and telling them that you're moving on to a wand. You made up your mind. See, I told you whatever you decide, you're moving quick on it. So you're you're choosing to just move on and move forward from it. You feel like that's the best thing to do. And you're confident about your decision and how you're moving forward. So with the hey man reverse, this could be you like surrendering to the situation, letting, letting them go, letting the situation go. Go into the hey man reverse. The hey man, yeah, a situation that you were stuck in or stuck on or couldn't see to move on from, you're allowing yourself to separate. Yeah, you're separating yourself, removing yourself from the situation, surrendering and letting go. Some of you guys are going to focus on your home, your foundation. Some of you guys are really just focused on you, you know, with this four of wands. Or it's like they're moving out and it's like once they move out, things will become a lot more stable for you. With the four of wands. But I feel like he was holding on the four by yourself. Look, there's one person on the four of wands. So let's see. Why well, have the four of wands here? You have the eight of wands. Something is, you have good news coming in after an ending. That's what I'm also getting. Because we have the page of wands, we have the eight of wands, and we have the four of wands. Some of you guys could be moving, relocating. Mm -hmm, look, the ten of wands. They're Saturn. So it's like, you guys are ending something. Something that was stressing you out or something that was just causing you a lot of stress. Something that was just weighing heavy on you. You're releasing it and letting it go. It's finally coming to an ending. All right. And now it's over. And now things are about to shift and turn around for the positive. And it's like you have good news coming your way or coming towards you. Why is the Ten of Wands here with this Page of Wands? The King of Swords. Yeah, you have good news coming in after a bad ending or after, yep, see, it's coming in fast. Damn, it's all these court cards. Who are all these people? Like, you guys have a lot of people around you, a lot of significant people, like people that mean something to you. Or there's a lot of people around you. We have three kings, knights. We have pages, queens. Like, there's a lot of people around you. Maybe a lot of people are supporting this ending. Going to the king of swords, knight of wands. Yep, ace of cups. Some of you guys are actually going towards new love. And people are supporting this ending. Oh, but I also see there could be a father or a brother or somebody around you that you're really close to and they love that things are ending for you but in a good way like they're supporting the ending so it's like they're there for you it's somebody that you're related to family or somebody that you consider like a brother or sister something like that somebody knows that you just weren't happy and they're supporting the ending and they're going to be there for you 
some of you guys, this person is helping you move. They're helping you, like, you know, transition out of this situation. Like, you know, go through the ending or whatever. But there's somebody that is, like, glad and happy that you're out of this situation. Now, for others of you, whoever this... For others of you, this person, they're also in love with you. And they couldn't wait for this situation to end. So they feel like, okay, let me try to get my chance. You know, yeah, they're going to try to, like... I don't know if they're going to tell you, but they want a chance with you. I feel like they may keep it to themselves. This is somebody that's cool, calm, collective, quiet, laid back, chilled. They don't really say much. Um, they keep to themselves. They're quiet. If this is somebody that, like, you know, that wants to get with you, go into the hermit. Yeah, the emperor could be an Aries. Like, somebody wants to commit to you. For some of you guys, yeah, it's after you move on. For some of you guys... Somebody's father wants to hook you up or your father wants to introduce you to somebody or somebody wants to introduce you to somebody or somebody is just wanting you to go towards better. Like they feel like you deserve better. You're glad you're cutting off the ex and something is going in your favor with this person. But it's like some of you guys are going to end it for now or ending it, but it's going to be a complete, end. like it's going to be an indefinite ending. Like I feel like it's just going to be over. Like you might be seeing like bye right now, but it's like there's going to really be an ending, like really a, like an ending ending for real is what I'm getting with this too. Um, why is that hurt me here? Yep, see, this is somebody that wants to pursue you, but they're keeping quiet. They're confused. They don't know if they should take action now or wait. They were waiting for an ending. That's what I'm saying. There's somebody around you that was waiting for an ending. Yeah, they were waiting for an ending so they can get a chance with you, whoever this is. Why is the Queen of Swords here? The Two of Swords. So I feel like you don't know all together like, what you want to do. But for right now, right now, you are cutting them off. You still love them, but you guys aren't really talking or communicating. Queen of Pentacles. You're worried about your finances and your money. For some of you guys, somebody took money out your account or took money from you. Or you guys are dealing with like some type of bank dispute or something as well. Or maybe somebody, like, you got charged more than once or somebody went into your account. You know how, like, they be, like, people be jump getting into people's accounts and stuff, like... You know, scamming like how they do like the readers and people on Instagram and stuff. They'll like to scam us and make fake pages and shit. Because we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You're going to get your money back. For some of you guys, it may not be all of it. But you're going to get your money back. And for some of you guys, it's from this relationship. Or you just feel like you took a financial loss in this situation. Maybe you invested a lot financially. Okay? But for others of you, yeah, because the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. There's going to be some type of delay and some money coming towards you. But you're going to get it back. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? The Lovers. Mm, let me see. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm telling you, Pisces, you, there's somebody around you that's either younger than you or you're younger than them, but they've been waiting. It's like they've been waiting their turn. I don't know. They're in love with you, and they're glad that things aren't working out, and they really want to be with you. But then I'm getting, like, for some of you, it's like a friend of the family or, like, say, for example, if you like your brother's friend, they don't want to overstep or say something, but somebody is, like, happy. Or can this be somebody new that you know or somebody that you deal with? For some of you guys with the emperor, it could be your boss, okay? Somebody that's older, much older than you. There can be a huge age difference, more than, like, 10 years. Let's see. Why is this not a cups here? Going to the not of cups. Seven of cups in reverse. So, yeah, like, um, Pisces, some of you guys can be realizing that this is over, it's done, and that this needs to be over and done with. Yeah. Mm. Something about money, though, Pisces. There's an issue with the money in your ex. But, um, let me see. For some of you guys, you're going to find out that your ex was paying for sex or, you know, getting money out of women and using them. Let me see. But your universe. There's some things that you're gonna find out that you're not happy, you're not gonna be happy about, and it's gonna give you the clarity that you need to move on and move forward because you don't see this no longer moving forward or going anywhere with the trade in reverse. You're just like, mm-mm. I've gained my clarity and I'm happy here moving on, moving forward. But there's somebody, you know, like they couldn't wait for y'all to break up. They were like whoever this is, like somebody was waiting for their turn. 
or waiting in line, like waiting for an ending. Whoever this is, like somebody was really like just waiting for something to be over between you and your person. Hmm. Let's see how rock, Rocky Road is here. Oh shit. Yeah, because it's like an ending turns into a new beginning. Let's see, why is Rocky Road here? Why is Rocky Road here for Pisces? Fulfillment. Yeah, see, something is ending here. It's a, a long journey is coming to an ending and going towards fulfillment. And then we have adjudication. It doesn't have to be like a divorce or anything, but it can be like, um, it says discussion, final decision, conflict, discernment. So you're using discernment. Some of you guys are making a final decision. Okay, you're like, I'm coming off of this, this long ass journey, this long road. I'm just tired. You're like, I'm tired of the ups and downs. You know, let's see, why is love potion here? But I feel like a party wants to work this out. Are you still have feelings for this person? Let's see. No, but it's like, even though you have love, you're disconnecting, disconnection, detached, indifference, no interest, dissatisfied, missed opportunity. So I feel like you just feel like even though there's love here, you just still know that you need to disconnect yourself from this person because you just don't feel the same anymore. And you use the sermon. It's, you look at it. Yeah. You feel like they're not going to meet your expectations. All right. You are hoping and waiting for a change, longing, waiting, and it's just not happening. Yeah, you thought they were lying. We have the half truth card. So going to working, let's see. Working on the relationship. Why is it working here for Pisces? Good news. All forms of communication. Text, email. Yes. Yeah, so um, okay, so there is somebody new coming in. It could be somebody at your office, somebody that you work with, but it's like there's good news coming in, and now you feel like like something's turning around in your love life, Pisces. Let me see why is good news here. Seduction. Somebody, you might try to seduce them. They might try to seduce you. I feel like more like they're gonna try to seduce you, but it's like they really want to see where this can go. And I feel like they like you. They've been liking you, and it's like to them, it's like good news because you're not with somebody. So they're like, okay, Pisces will give me a chance now. Yeah, long road. That's done. There's been distance. It's been a long wait. Slow growth. Something is ending. You know, half truths in the situation. I feel like they're happy that something is ending between you and somebody. Yes. And whoever this is with a sudden wealth and caregiver, I don't fight this person is after your money or anything. But I feel like there's going to be a financial gain in your finances due to some money that you lost. Remember I said you guys are going to lose some money or something's going to happen with some money. Some of you guys have an inheritance coming in. But whoever this person is, they're here to help you. They're going to like help you recover, heal. This person is going to be very supportive. You know, they're going to understand you and be there by your side. I feel like this person is emotionally open to, you know, um, the relationship. So there's a lot of good things that come with this new person. But um, it's just the only thing is that you just literally walked away or you're just walking away from something. I feel like it's still fresh. I feel like it hasn't been like you haven't killed or anything just yet. So let's see what we got for Pisces. All right, so we have Stargazer. Set your sights higher. So set your sights higher, Pisces. Let's see. All right, so follow your voice and your soul. It says, um, heed the messages coming directly from your soul. Okay. The star ancestor is reminding you that you have other otherworldly support and that your friends from the from the stars can help if you are willing to be helped. They can support you in connecting with and following your soul's deepest calling. There is a deeper purpose to your human journey. Not only were you born on purpose, you were born for a purpose. You were born to be a bright light in the world, and there are supporters out there. And the universe sending waves of energy to guide you at this time. 
information and inspiration that has been coming your way recently is not new information, but memories. Your feelings of being drawn in a particular direction are the awakening of an aspect of your soul. You are being drawn towards a road that will not only light you up, but also help you light up your corner of the world. Continue following the cosmic guidance that is coming your way. All right. So this is a beautiful message. I love it for you, Pisces. That is what the card looks like. Sorry, I forgot to hold it up. All right. So this is your reading, Pisces. I love it, guys. Um, I don't know. Somebody's been waiting their turn. So I don't know. they've been waiting. And I don't want to say it like that, but they've been waiting for you. They've been waiting for you. So, yes, this is what I'm getting, Pisces, all right? Send you guys lots of love, light, healing, energy, and abundance, XOXO. If it resonates, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. If you guys would love to book, fireintuition.com. Stay dope, Pisces. I'll see you guys in your next Pisces reading or on the channel in a collective reading, all right? Bye, Pisces.